Welcome back everyone to my second full body workout routine in this series of getting back in shape. This is the overview video of the exercises in this second routine. To see the first routine, click on the link in the description box below. I'll also be following up this video with a follow along video so that we can do this together. Just like in the first routine, we're going to be following a vertical loading system which will hit just about every body part. However, the second routine is going to run you approximately a minute longer simply because we have some isolation exercises for the legs. In this instance, you're going to complete 30 seconds of each exercise for each leg and since we're going to be alternating between the right and the left, there will be no 15 second rest in between the exercises for the legs. So the first set should run you approximately 8 minutes long. The great thing is that now you have even more exercises to choose from to build muscle and burn fat. Just pick an exercise for a particular body part that you like or an exercise that strengthens any weaknesses you may have. You can customize this workout any way you like. Just give it your best. Here are the exercises in this routine with a demonstration of each one. Enjoy. Alright, so we start with working out our chest by uh, doing some push-ups with sh uh, front shoulder raise. You'll notice that I use elastic bands for added resistance just to make the exercise a little bit more challenging. You don't necessarily have to use elastic bands, it's really up to you. Put your legs in a wider stance to help your body stabilize and balance as you do the shoulder raise. Um, and try to keep your body straight and try not to twist your body when performing the shoulder raise portion of the exercise. Now over here I'm going to start adding a little plyometric movement uh, just to add more intensity and power to the exercise. So as we start working our back, we're going to start also working our abs as well by doing this knee raise. Now there's two ways to do this. You can uh, move your knee up and down and you can also alternate your legs or you can basically keep it stationary the way that I'm demonstrating here. This is also a really great way to start working on balance training. So I have a few shoulder exercises to show you. These I call uh, shoulder semicircles. This is not only a great way to tone up your shoulders, but it's also a great warm-up movement. Alright, so despite the fact that this is kind of like a beginner version of the pushback push-up, um, this actually does a really good job of flaring up and burning those, uh, those shoulders, so it works the shoulders pretty nicely. So this is a great way to start building up some strength in your biceps. You're going to take some bands and hook it up underneath your, your feet. And uh, you can use a towel or a rope like I'm going to be demonstrating shortly. And you're going to try to curl up and you're going to isometrically hold that for 30 seconds. And you want to try to just use as much strength as possible. Here I am using a rope uh, if you don't have uh, bands. And uh, like I said, you can also use a towel. and. You know, in addition to helping develop strength in your biceps, you can also really improve your grip strength as well. Here's another great way of developing your biceps. 
Um, again, you know, you can use a rope, you can use bands. In this case, I'm using a, a stretching strap. And, you know, after doing this for 30 seconds, you're definitely, definitely going to feel it in your biceps. Again, the important thing here is to keep your elbows in front of you and uh, make sure that those uh, hands are really close together. Now this is a great way of building up your triceps. I think that the key here is obviously you want to keep your elbow stationary and in front of you, but the key here is finding that perfect angle and it's different for everyone. Finding that perfect angle where you start to really feel the burn and start to really feel those triceps working. So I'm going to show you a couple of, you know, a few angles that I use with, uh, with this exercise. So obviously I'm demonstrating here how you can use a table for added support to help you with your balance, but eventually you want to keep working on this to the point where you don't actually need to hold on to anything to do these one-legged squats. One of the things that you may notice here is that you may be either more flexible on one leg or be able to maintain your balance on one leg more than the other. And that's actually a good thing because you're able to identify a weakness that you may need to work on.